Hi, I'm Nikki Coffin from Centred Excellence, where we help recruitment business owners, managers and independent recruiters increase their results by 50 to 250% really quickly. Now this week's question comes from Ed, who writes, I've had a run of bad luck recently. Two big placements that were due to start dropped out and I spent so much time focusing on those placements that I took my eye off the business development and I now don't have any pipeline. I feel really down at the moment and I'm really struggling to pick myself up again. What can I do to get myself re-motivated and back on track? So Ed, I hear you and I know that you're not alone. This is one of the biggest challenges that I hear when working with recruitment business owners, team managers and recruiters, people doing the same job as you. They find it really difficult to bounce back quickly from these ups and downs. So if you've had a bad call, for example, with a client or a candidate letting you down at the last minute, it can sometimes throw them off form for the whole day. And this not only leads to their billings becoming inconsistent, they experience the yo-yo results effect, where they become demotivated and also has a real knock-on effect to those people around them. Now, quite a few people are really destroyed by setbacks in their life, not necessarily by the huge ones, but by those little ones. And the thing to realise here is that these problems are not the real problem. The problem lies within you and actually within your mind. One of the reasons so many recruiters don't realise their real potential is because they're not able to deal with setbacks. So you'll know when you get got into recruitment, you start at a desk and something happens. You try something and it doesn't work or your customer gives you hell, whatever it may be. Well, that's a setback and that has to be dealt with. Now, most setbacks can be dealt with, but here's the issue. When we hit setbacks and we hit problems, it tends to impact our state of mind. So you're moving along and doing OK and then something happens and you feel lousy. And when you go into that lousy state of mind, isn't that the least likely state of mind to produce the response that's going to get you out of the problem? Well, yes, it is. And then what happens is that people go into these loops. If you like a psychological loop, something happens and you feel bad and then you don't take action that you need to and you end up feeling worse. And then you end up on this never ending psychological loop. Now, the opposite of that is that when something happens in your life and you know it's a setback, but you're able to control and influence your own state of mind. And this is something that you can control. Great recruiters are pretty good at influence and they're pretty, pretty good at influencing other people, your customers, your candidates, also your team. You might even need to influence people in your life to let you work really strange hours, that sort of thing. So we tend to be good at influencing people, but you know what the core skill is, is actually being able to influence yourself. Because when you influence, influence yourself effectively, so that when things happen, you can still stay in control of your own state of mind, that is very, very powerful. And by realizing that we can choose how we react to situations means that we can choose a response that's more useful for us. By choosing a more resourceful response that works better for us, in turn, can create a better result. So, for example, if a candidate drops out of a job, you could choose to take the situation as a learning experience and ask yourself, what feedback has this experience given me that will make it better next time round? Now, sometimes it may take a little more effort to change your state of mind. However, when you consciously ask yourself, what would be a better choice of response for me? Your mind will then give you the answers. So the key with this is your thoughts and your feelings determine how you act and your actions will ultimately determine the results that you get. Now here's a short story that may help you with this. It's taken from Jack Canfield, multi-millionaire businessman and author. Now in 1969, only one year out of graduate school, I had the good fortune to work for W. Clement Stone. And at the time he was a self-made millionaire worth 600 million. He was also America's premier success guru. He was the publisher of Success Magazine, the author of The Success System That Never Fails, and also co-author with Napoleon Hill of Su Success Through Positive Mental Attitude. When I was completing my first week's orientation, Mr. Stone asked me if I took 100% responsibility for my life. I think so, I responded. He said, this is a yes or no question, young man. You either do or you don't. Well, I guess I'm not sure then. Well, have you ever blamed anyone for any circumstance in your life? Have you ever complained about anything? Uh, yes, I guess I have. Don't guess. Think. Well, yes, I have. Okay, then. That means that you don't take 100% responsibility for your life. Taking 100% responsibility means that you acknowledge that you create everything that happens to you. It means that you understand that you are the cause of all of your experiences. And if you truly want to be successful, and I know that you do, 
then you will have to give up blaming and complaining and take total responsibility for your life. That means all of your results, all of your successes and all of your failures. This is a prerequisite for creating a life of success, you see, Jack. If you realise that you've created your current conditions, then you can uncreate them and recreate them at will. Do you understand that? Are you willing to take 100% responsibility for your life? Yes, sir, he said, and he did. So, watch out. Next time something happens, don't go into that loop that most of society is stuck in, which is that events and people outside of your control are responsible for how you feel. That isn't how the human mind works, but everyone will tell you that is how it, how it is. It's what's going on in your head that influences your results, and you can control your mind and therefore your results. And it's up to you to, to choose a different response if you choose. So that's our recruitment training tip for today. And if you'd like to know more, I'd love to invite you to our free training webinar, How to Convert Underperformers into Consistent High Billers in 14 Days or Less. And here's our link to that. I'll be showing you some really excellent tips and techniques to get big performance quickly. And here's the link again for that. I look forward to seeing you again next time.